Hey. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Fandom Fights. Uh, we got another match for you today. Uh, very excited about this one. We got Alec Miller going up against Brandon Dunlap. Uh, two players who have been here for a while. Alec been here longer than Brandon, I think, but both have been in the space for many, many moons. I've known Alec for a very long time. Uh, he played Maggie once. That was a thing that happened. Uh, and then Brandon uh, has some really impressive matches under his belt as well. So both these guys coming in, lower records, wanting to try to get a win on their record to get up to that uh, to, a, to a better uh, spot in the rankings. I'm very excited to see what happens. Nick, thoughts on Brandon versus Alec, and thank you for being here today, my friend. Thanks. Oh, well, yeah, of course. You know, you threatened, you threatened me, but yeah, no, it's, yeah I'm here. Um, no, I'm very excited. Uh, <laughs> both people having highlights last year. Yeah. Uh, Brandon taking the number one seed in the in the tournament um, all the way to the end. Uh, nearly upset Robert Kastner. But outside of that, Brandon's had some bad luck. I think he's one of the better players with a sort of negative record. Um he didn't didn't he also lose to Jack in his perfect game and took it to the he final? Did do that. Yeah. Yeah. Brandon's like had to play like very, very good people. Alec is sort of on the upswing. He he's done what uh, a lot of people have had to do, and he survived uh his first retirement match uh against Andrea Malabag last year. He then commented on the Facebook post and said, I didn't win that shit for nothing. I'm I'm back and I'm ready to go. Uh so I'm excited. Uh I think uh this this could be a good match today, Tim. Yeah. Let's see what happens, but first we got to talk to the players and see what they think in the promos. Hey guys, what is up? Brandon Dunlap back here. Uh, first match of fandom uh, for 2023. Super excited, but I'm always super excited to play, but I'm super excited because I feel like I had some time to reflect on my past matches and correct songs, and hopefully it does me some good. Um, let's get it on. What's up, everybody? Uh, yeah, I'm back. I won my retirement match against Andrea. I love Andrea, but man, that was a very close match. And like Nicholas said, I did not win that retirement match for nothing. I'm coming in here to never playing in another in another retirement match ever again, but also to get the win. So um, I don't think I've ever played Brennan. Uh, I probably have. I don't know. I've played so many of these damn matches. Who knows? Like I completely forgot that I played Maggie. It was so long ago. But, uh, yeah, this is going to go different than that match against Maggie because I got destroyed. This time, I'm going to win. I'd like to go back to the tape. Don't think he got destroyed. Uh, but uh, that was that was during a, a different time of fandom, let's be real. Um, cool. And it was a long time ago. Uh, that was in the summer 2019 singles tournament. It's four years ago. Where the fuck is the time gone? Nick, how does round number one work? Round number one is going to work like this. <laughs> There's going to be 10 questions in the realm of fandom fights. Each player is going to have 15 seconds to write down their answer. At the end of 15 seconds, we'll say pens down, at which point the players will reveal their answers and say it aloud. Each correct answer is worth one point apiece. If any individual player get all 10 questions correct in round number one, they would receive a bonus question. Each player will have three repeats, one challenge for the entirety of the match. Players, any questions as we get into round number one? No. Uh, no. All right, then. Nope. Your first question will come in the category of horror icons. Pamela is the first name of the mother of which horror icon? This is the fourth season you and I have done this together. Not necessarily the Are you counting from 2019? What? Are you counting from 2019? No, so the, the, the year of 2020 was when you and I were a team together. So Right, but I was in this in 2019. Saying you and I together as a thing. Five. Four. So we're in 23, but it was 19. One. Pens down. Let's go to Brandon. All I hear was 23 19 out of that. It made me think of Monsters Inc. Uh, Jason Voorhees. And Alec. Jason Voorhees. Both are correct. Starting off strong, one to one. Your next question is in the category of sci fi icons. Who plays Sir Edmund Burton? The last living member of the Order of Wittikins in Transformers The Last Night. Wit Wickens. Wit Wickens. What is it? Oh, yeah. Wit Wick. Yeah. There's, oh, geez. There's, there's, <laughs> there's another W there. Wait, is a repeat? I think I missed something. Yeah. Uh, your question again. 
Who plays Sir Edmund Burton, the last living member of the Order of Wit Witikins in Transformers The Last Night? Wit Wickens. Wit Wickens. Wickens. I can't speak today. What I know is true. <laughs> this is the fourth season, Nick, that you and I have done. Yeah, you stepped on my joke. I was trying to make a 2319 joke, and I kept being like, 2019, right? And you were like, no, 2020. And I was like, but 19, right? I did not understand that's where you were going with that. I, I did. With Wittigan. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, <laughs> one. Pens down. Let's go to Alec. Uh, I just put Anthony Hopkins. And Brandon. I believe it is Anthony Hopkins. Oh, I sorry. I can't see it, though. Because Yeah, it is. Anthony Hopkins is correct. <laughs> oh, sweet. So we say time up. Movie. Two to two. Nick, what's next? The next question comes to Kevin. <laughs> At the beginning of Shark Tale, which of Lenny's family members is killed while chasing after Oscar? It's a wild strategy to, like, have a paper towel and, like, cover up your answer. <laughs> oh, you. I, it no, was... no, it's for the erasing, but yeah. No, no, I know. But that was... <laughs> um, I have a question for you. Totally not crazy at all. Who's your least favorite member of the community? God. You now for asking that. That makes sense. Five. Four. No punchline. <laughs> One. Hands down. No, I was just curious. Uh, let's go to Brandon. Uh, is it like his uncle? Uh, and Alec. It's his brother. Brother is correct. So Alec will take first blood and making it three to two. Uh, your <laughs> next question is in the category of fandom quotes. Which Marvel Spider-Man film features the quote, wherever I go, the wind follows? What was the last thing that followed you? Um, a squirrel. And you don't have letterboxed, so no one there follows you. No. Think about it. the only reason I still have Facebook is so that we can communicate to people like for this. That's Other than that, you can delete your wouldn't. profile, but keep Messenger. Five, four. You can do that. Yeah, you can do that. It's separate now. Ooh, one Maybe. pens down. Let's go to Alec. Uh, I put Spider Man three. And Brandon. I put Spider Man to the Spider Verse. Into the Spider Verse is correct. Brandon tying it up. We've got a close one today, three to three. What's next, Nick? Your next question comes in the category of Star Trek. Who takes over as engineer when Scotty quits in Star Trek Into Darkness? I had somebody in the community earlier this week say, Tim, sometimes you're very sarcastic about like fandom. And saying like, oh God, you love it so much. Like you just, you seem like you're not having fun. And I said to them, person that I shall not name, why would I fucking be here on a Friday night if I didn't enjoy doing this? And they were like, yeah, that's fair. I feel like you probably feel the same way, Nick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Five, four, I got three. The women in our lives are so happy. All right, Alec, using a repeat, the question again is from Nick. Who takes over as engineer when Scotty quits in Star Trek Into Darkness? I got a whole plan to blow this up, should I ever leave. Like, I know the password to the channel. That's part of the plan. I could delete the Facebook page right now if I wanted to. I just might. <laughs> Maybe I will. What are the odds? Give me, give me, oh, don't fucking do one, that. One and four? Are we in high school? Don't I, give me one more old fashioned. Just see what happens. Just message me the wrong thing, Coho. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Brandon. I sure hope this counts because I didn't spell it right. But it's a check off. I, I, I can't. I know it's a weird uh, spelling, but let's go to Alex. I, it's terrible. Check off is correct. Oh, I'm getting both. Yeah. Yeah. Will you will you take mine? Yeah. Yes. yes. Thank phonetic. you. <laughs> All right. Your next question is in the category of Pixar. In Incredibles 2, what is the name of Mr. Incredibles' car that he sees being auctioned off on TV? Uh, 
Do you name your vehicle? Um, Maggie's family names all the vehicles. My mom like tries to. They're all lady names too. I not names, more like titles. The minivan I drove around for seven years was the man van. My car is red, and so we named her Ruby. How original! Five, I, know, four. I had a red car named her Scarlet. Two. Also, one. pens down. Scarlet would have been better. Pens down, Brandon. I don't know. Okay, you're good. Okay, uh, let's go to Alec. <laughs> uh, and Brandon. Oh, uh, I said put in, in credit mobile. <laughs> so close. In credit mobile. What's in, the matter? Incredible. That counts. Incredible. What is the answer? I can't even. The incredible. The like incredible is the oh. combination of the two things I, that brands. I, I knew it was something like that. Okay. All right. All right. What's next, Nick? Your next question comes in the category of scores and soundtracks. Who composed the score for The Dark Knight Rises? I'm genuinely interested. I feel like we've probably talked about it before. Your take on this movie. Quick five second take. Um, took too long to come out. Um, not as good as the first two. A little bloated. Um, weird ending. But other than that, like, good stuff. Hands down. Big fan of this one. Uh, let's go to Brandon. Uh, going with my gut here, I put Hans Zimmer. And Alec. Hans Zimmer. Hans Zimmer is correct. We stay tied five to five. Is that what you have, Nick? Yes, sir. All right. Your next question, guys, is in the category of Disney animation. What is the name of both the titular fox and hound in The Fox and the Hound? Yeah, I. Uh, Dark Knight Rises is one of those where, like, I just, I don't know why, but I just have a special, it has a special place in my heart. It's not as good as the first two. I like the first two more, but I, I really it's not bad. Like as far as, I mean, as far as DC movies go, it's very good. Yeah. As far as Batman movies go, it's very good. Like, I just, I really, I just really like that world. I love Bane. I really like Bane. Fine. Yeah. It just felt like Three. maybe it's like two. a Joker thing. One pens down. That's fair. Uh, let's go to Alec. I got one. I couldn't get the other one. I just put Copper and Chief. And Brandon. Uh, it's Copper and Todd. Todd and Copper. Todd and Copper. Brandon, you're frozen a little bit. Here's a, a little bit of a delay. For a while. Brandon? Yeah, nope. no, I, okay. I'm back now, I think. You still I have think I, I to be through myself in this round. Oh. Oh, Okay. <laughs> We're back from the break. Uh, so we can't give Brandon the answer on that one, even though we heard him. He didn't show us the answer. We can't give him the point. So uh, it's five to five, and we're moving on to the penultimate question, which is going to be read to you by Sir Nicholas. It's in the category Planet of the Apes. Which Planet of the Apes film features an astronaut burying the body of his captain? Um... You ever want to do fandom fights live? I thought about it. The macaw says no. It doesn't. Like I can't convince myself that it would be a good idea, but I always think about it. It's not a good idea, but I think it would be fun as shit for you and me. We would have fun. Yeah. Five. Everyone else. It is not all that matters. Two. (laughs) One. Puns down. We're here for every single one of these. We got to be the ones having fun. Uh, Let's go to Brandon. Uh, I didn't write the year, but I put Planet of the Apes. Uh, let's go to Alec. I put Battle for the Planet of the Apes. Both incorrect. We're looking for Beneath the Planet of the Apes. Beneath. Oh, okay. So we're moving on to your final question of this round. It's in the category of The Wizarding World. What city does Queenie travel to in order to look for her sister in Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald? Um, we can't talk about cities. True. That's what I was about to bring up. Good idea. You like Nike. Eh. 
you like Bucky? Sure. Five. Four. Bucky he was too low if you came. Two. One. Pens down. You should just come to Wisconsin. Uh, let's go to Alec. Uh, London. And Brandon. Uh, Paris, France. Paris is correct. So right at the end there, Brandon gets the one point lead, making it six to five. Is that what you have, Nick? That's what I have, Tim. Okay, we're going to go to round number two. Nick, how is that going to work tonight? Round number two is going to work like this. It is the wheel round. We have a wheel with eight phantom categories on it, as well as spinners and opponent's choice. Each player will get a spin at the wheel. If they like it, they spin the first time they can keep it. If not, they can choose to spin again, but they will be forced to keep it. They spin the second time. You'll get five questions in the chosen category, each worth two points apiece, unless you'd like to check down a multiple choice, in which case it will only be worth one. And be on the lookout as stealing is available in round number two. Tim, what's on the wheel today? On the wheel today is YA Jimmy B, Middle Earth. MCU, The Wizarding World, Planet of the Apes, Horror Icons, and Scores and Soundtracks. Brandon, you're in the lead. Do you want to spin first or defer to Mr. Miller? Uh, let's go ahead and defer. Okay. Alec, this is going to be your spin. It lands ever so barely on Scores and Soundtracks. Spin that wheel. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is what stuck with. It lands on the Wizarding World. I can do that. All right. I hope so. Nick, would you yeah. go ahead and please read Alec his questions in the Wizarding World? Gladly, Alec. Are you prepared for your questions in the category of the Wizarding World? No, but let's do it. All right, your first question. Actor Freddy Stroma appears in which Wizarding World film? I did multiple choice. Your multiple choice options are is it A, Order of the Phoenix, B, The Half Blood Prince, C, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, or D, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Uh, go D. D is incorrect. Brandon Chance for the one point steal. Your options again are A, The Order of the Phoenix, B, The Half Blood Prince. C, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, or D, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Can I get a repeat of the question, or does that cost me a repeat? That would cost you a repeat. Uh, I'll do it. All right. Then that is Brandon's first repeat. The question again. Actor Freddy Stroma appears in which Wizarding World film? And your options are A, The Order of the Phoenix, B, The Half-Blood Prince, C, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, or D, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Uh... I'm going to say Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. That was unfortunately also incorrect. We were looking for Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Was Who Cormac, was he? Cormac McClaggan. Oh, McClaggan. Okay. All right. Uh, wow. So, Alec, your second question. Who does Jacob leave the room of requirement with when everyone is gathered before the final mission in The Secrets of Dumbledore? Multiple choice. All right, your options are A, Albus, B, Newt, C, Bunty, D, Lally. A. A is correct for one point and a tie game. <clears throat> All right, Alec, your third question. In Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, when Harry uses the Resurrection Stone, he expresses concern to Lupin about which of his family members that he left behind. Five. Dudley? That is uh, unfortunately incorrect. Brandon Chance for the two point steal. Uh, his son. His son is correct oh. uh, for the two point steal. Lupin's son. I was confused. All right, Alec, your penultimate question. <coughs> Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. What spell does Hermione use on Neville when he catches the three sneaking out? I don't know when I hear it. Um, multiple choice. All right. Multiple choice options are, is it A, stupefy, B, petrificus totalis, C, immobilis, or D, impedimenta? Immobilis. 
That is incorrect. Brandon Chance for the one point steal. Your options are A. Stupefy, B. Petrificus Totalis, C. Immobilis, or D. Impedimenta. It's a Petrificus Totalis. That is correct for the one point steal. And Alec, your final question. How many champions are chosen for the Triwizard Tournament in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire? You, I'll, I'll say five. That is incorrect. Oh, Brandon, chance for the two point steal. Four. Four is correct for the two point steal. So uh, Alec gets his total up to six, but with the steals, I have Brandon at 11. Is that what you have? That's what I have, Tim. All right. So we're going to move on to the steal or to the, sorry, to the uh, spin for Brandon. So Brandon, here is your spin. It is a free spin. It lands on opponent's choice. Oh, so Alec, uh, what would you like to give to um, Brandon? Uh, sheesh. Let's do scores and soundtracks because I'm hoping maybe he he doesn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sounds the great good. equalizer, isn't it? <laughs> Brandon, I will be giving you your questions in scores and soundtracks. Are you ready, sir? Uh, yes. Your first question. The main villain sings the song Poor Unfortunate Souls in which Disney animated film? The movie is The Little Mermaid. That is correct. For two points. Who composed the score for Terminator Dark Fate? Uh Christopher Guess. That is incorrect. Alec Chance for a two-point steal. Uh, Michael Giacchino. That's also incorrect. We're looking for Junkie XL. I would not have got that. <laughs> At all. <laughs> Brandon, your next question. What is the name of the song that plays over Darth Maul, Qui-Gon, and Obi-Wan's fight in Star Wars The Phantom Menace? Oh, oh, oh. Battle of the Fates. That is incorrect. Alec, Damn. a two-point steal. Duel of the Fates. Oh! Of the Fates. Correct. <laughs> well played. Good job. I, ah. Uh... Great question from our question writer. Yep, very good, guys. Uh, so, Brandon, your next, <laughs> your next question. John Powell has a composing credit on how many films in the Jason Bourne series? Uh, why not? I'll do multiple choice. All right, your options are A2, B3, C4, D5. I'm going to go with four. Four is correct for one point. Yes. And your final question, Brandon. Who composed the score for X-Men First Class? Henry Jackman. That is correct for two yes. points. Uh, so going into round number three, Nick, I have Brandon up 16 to eight. Yep. How's round number three going to work? Round number three is going to work like this. It is the betting round. We have five more questions in the realm of fandom fights. Once the players hear the category, they can bet anywhere between zero and two points on the question. If they get the question correct, they will gain those points. If they get the question incorrect, they will lose those points. We will play until someone is mathematically eliminated or we have reached the end of the match. Players, any questions as we get into round three? Uh, no. All right, then. Go, Tim. Oh, I like it when you say, take it away, Tim. Uh, your first category <laughs> is going to be horror icons. Let's get bets, starting with Alec. I went two. All right, Brandon. 
I went two as well. All right. Big question. The question in horror icons is how do the FBI believe they have killed Jason at the beginning of Jason goes to hell the final Friday? We will take a general answer. General I answer. I've done that a lot. Hey, remember when I went to Nashville? I remember. Well, I don't remember. I wasn't there, but that would have been fun if you were there. Did you know that the sequel to The Fox and the Hound takes place in Nashville? I've seen that movie. Um, it wasn't great. I've seen it, it an absurd amount of times. Five. Four. So many Three. times have I seen that. One. Pens down. I would like to start with Brannon. Uh, he explodes. Uh, let's go to Alec. I put shoot, shot him in the head. And your winner, Brandon Dunlap, uh, blows up, explodes, is correct. So on that question, Brandon winning the oh, wow. uh, game. Nick, thoughts yeah. on the match? Um, I think Brandon was due a win. It's unfortunate it had, it had to be against Alec, who played very well, kept up uh, with oh, him in round one. Uh, I think he just got a category that maybe he wasn't as brushed up on, and it just so happened to be one that Brandon is very strong in. So uh, that's where some of the steals led to. After Alex round two, his turn in round two, some people might have thought that it would have been leaning towards a knockout, but Alec himself capitalized on a few key steals that was able to push it uh, to round three. So overall, it was a great match. Uh, Brandon played as well as he always does. He just happened to come out on uh, the winning side today. Yeah. All right, so we'll get into post-match interviews. We're going to start by talking to Alec. Uh, Nick, take it away. Absolutely. Alec, uh, we're, we're so glad you're here that uh, you, you survived your retirement match um, to come back this year. Um, I think you played great. I think you did absolutely uh, everything you could. Like I said, it sounds like you just got a category in round two that was just absolutely in Brandon's wheelhouse and, wound, and allowed him to take uh, a lead. And you gave him a category that – not a lot of people are good at. I think he got very lucky there as well that he, there was a Disney animated one that he knew right away. Uh, there was some other stuff he knew right away. Brandon played very well, but you play, make no mistake that you played very well right behind him. Uh, and I don't blame you swinging going for broke on the end because that's how you would have caught up. Yeah. Um, Alec, how do you feel about the match? And will we be seeing you again soon? Oh yeah. I'll come back as much as y'all have me. Um, yeah. The, I am kind of happy. I would have probably missed some of those those uh, scores and soundtracks questions too. Uh, with with Wizarding World, it's the it's the Fantastic Beast movies that I just I need to really brush up on those. Um, and yeah, I didn't know uh, with the with the Triwizard Cup one. I didn't know if it was either five or four. And I was like, are they are you saying how many do they you normally choose or how much got chosen or how many got like you know picked out? But I, I you know I had four in my head and I went five. But uh, you know it is what it is. It is a it's a good game. Uh, you know, it, sometimes the will doesn't go your way. Very fair. Um, Alec, we look forward to seeing you again. Um, maybe in teams. Maybe I'll send you a private message. See if I need a teammate. Team. Someone send me out something. Yeah, yeah Alec's available. Send him a message. Jeez. Uh, Alec, we'll see you again next time. Congratulations on a match. Uh, very well played. As we bring in our winner today. Uh, haven't said yes. that in a lot. It feels like I should Oh, it's been... It's been far too long, boys. Far too long. Yeah, I'm so excited. More recently, but Brandon, congratulations! Thank you, uh, thank you. As I said, you played about as well as you usually do, even with some of the bad luck in round one. The <laughs> internet cut out. Um, unfortunate timing with that. Even spinning opponent's choice. Uh, you. Yeah, usually, I thought that was going to do me over. I really did. You usually do pretty well in the matches that you just like. I said, like we said at the beginning, you just lost to Jack in a perfect game to the number one seed, Robert Kastner, and you scored the same accuracy as him, to Mike Shea, who was having a killer comeback year last year. Um, this could be your comeback. Not to, like, throw any jinxes you know out there, but, <laughs> but we will be seeing you in teams, and you've already started yep. off with a better singles record than you I'm, had last year. I'm so. excited, man. Yeah, and, uh, no, you're totally right. This is about on par with what I normally do. All the matches that you mentioned that I've lost, I've taken it to the last question every time. And I, I always get so close, I can never get the, get that far. Yeah, well, how does it feel but, to uh, get there? Uh, how do you feel about your match against Alec? And, it, uh, it, feels, it feels amazing. I do believe Luck was on my side when he spun Harry Potter. Um, love learning new stuff about Harry Potter. Didn't know the guy who played Cormac. So now I know. <laughs> 
Um, and I got incredibly lucky with the scores and soundtracks. I just happened to know a few of those, and that's what happens sometimes. Absolutely. But Alec played great, and I hope to see him keep on playing. Hope to play him again sometime. Awesome. Well, Brandon, congratulations on the win. Uh, we will Thank be you. seeing you again, uh, but we'll keep it a surprise. Uh, surprise! I love surprises. Great. <laughs> it's going to be surprising. Can't wait. <laughs> Tim, put a bow on it. I don't love surprises. I like to be in the know on everything. My good friends Cody and Nick could tell you as much. Uh, this was a great match. I had a lot of fun, Alec and Brandon. Uh, guys, we don't see enough, honestly. Um, I hope Brandon gets a teammate. I hope Alec gets a teammate because Brandon has a teammate. Brandon has a teammate. Is he who's he who's he team with? He's debuting later. I didn't know that. He's I don't debuting make, tomorrow. I don't make the schedule. I didn't know that. I'm excited. Uh, He's debuting tomorrow. I hope Alec gets a teammate uh, because guys I enjoy seeing really fun to be here for part of this match. I wasn't supposed to be here and I'm glad I was because it was a lot of fun. So thank you to Nick for writing this one. Thank you to Brandon and Alec for being here. I have been Tim. We'll see you guys on another episode of Phantom Fights real soon. Until then, have a great night. Bye. And again, that's the hero gig. Part of the journey is the end. Goodbye, old friend. Giddy has to go.